today we're working on installing some under cabinet lighting. For this project, you're gonna need an LED strip, connectors, and some wire. Aluminum track for the LEDs to sit in with the diffuser. Arduino, power supply, tools. This is a five volt power supply that converts the house electricity to five volts so that the lights can run off of them. And also this Arduino, which is the brains behind the whole operation. It all runs off a of five volt. There's also a 12 volt option if you just want one light that's not programmable. You're going to need a switch. This one is a motion sensor. It doesn't have to be motion sensor. These little clips, it's just a single screw that holds it in place like this. So you can cut these to length and then it looks pretty slick. And honestly, unless you squat way down, you can't even tell it's there. Okay, kind of looks a little mangled at this point, but this is kind of what we're going for. We got extra wires running. So that's just so I can add extra power towards the end of the strip so that it doesn't dim by the time it gets to the end of it. And I got this drilled a hole through the whole thing, just barely big enough to run this LED strip. So from this switch is where this yellow wire comes in. So that's the input of the alternating current, current and then that's an output to a five volt in this case. The next thing to do is put these tracks up. Leave the one side dangling down. Oh, because after you get this all into place, it's kind of a battle. Sorry, it's kind of hard to film. And on this side. You can put the diffuser in. Let me start it. So if you start the diffuser on the one end, then you can kind of slide it. You'll have to sort of Push the LED lights up with the one hand as you're sliding in. But eventually you can get that whole thing in. The diffuser is completely on. You can put this thing in this bracket and then push it up. Another benefit to this setup is I didn't solder a single wire in the entire thing. Well, there's the installation end of this entire backsplash under cabinet lighting behind me. But if you're more interested in the programming with the Arduino and stuff, I'm going to make a detailed video on that and how to download it and what the differences are with the different things. Anyways, we'll go over to the techie end of stuff on the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Unnecessarily complex kitchen lights. It's kind of cool. This is an ADA fruit. Software, not software, but the programming you can find on ADA Fruit. I'll put a link in the description. But then you can take this code and you can modify it. It's called NeoPixels, which is basically the difference between an RGB with three different LEDs and an RGBW with the fourth with the white, extra white. The programming's different.